Welcome to this quick tip video on emailing remittance advices. My name is Anne from Orchid Systems. In this video we're going to run through sending remittance advices for vendor payments, customer direct debits and refunds, and for employee payroll payments, the net pay details. In this video we're going to cover off when to run the email process, which email address is used, which remittance advice is used, which email template is used, and the encryption or password protection of the remittance advice that is emailed. For AP and AR, you run the remittance advice after you've created the EFT file. So first you would create the AP payment batch or the AR receipt batch or AR refund batch, post the batches, then you would create the EFT file and then you would print the remittance advice. If you've set an EFT options for the AP and the AR options that you allow unposted batches to be selected, then you would be able to create the payment batch, create the EFT file and print the advices if you want. And for the payroll processing, you would first create the Canadian payroll or US payroll checks, then you would post the checks, create the payroll EFT file and then print and email the payroll advices. You can also, in the EFT options on the payroll tab, configure to allow unposted payroll checks to be selected for the EFT file. So if you want, you can create the payroll checks, then create the payroll EFT payroll file, and then email the advices. When sending AP vendor remittance advices, the Print Advice program first looks at the EFT vendor to see if you've specified to use the EFT vendor email address or to use the AP vendor delivery method. And that can be one of mail, email or contacts email. So on the EFT vendor, you can select for the delivery method whether you want to do the EFT vendor email to address, in which case it uses the email to on this record, Otherwise, if you select the AP vendor delivery method, it will check in the AP vendor whether it must use the mail, email or contacts email. And then at the time of running, if you select remit to address and contact details, then it would use the remit to's email or contacts email if the EFT vendor's delivery method was set to AP vendor delivery method and this remit to address contact details is selected on the EFT print advices. For AR customer remittance advices for AR refunds and AR direct debits, on the EFT record you can specify an email address or you can specify the AR customer delivery method, which is mail, email or contacts email. So on the EFT customer, if you select to use the delivery method of EFT customer email to, then it will use the email to on the EFT customer record. If you select the AR customer delivery method, then it will go to the AR record and check to see whether the delivery method is mail, email or contacts email and will either print or email to the customer address, email address or contacts email address. And in payroll, Canadian payroll or US payroll, it looks on the EFT employees record for the EFT employees email address, or you can configure to use the CP or UP employees email address. Or you could specify mail, in which case the remittance advice would be printed. When sending the remittance advices in EFT print advices for AP and AR remittance advices, the use report will default to the value that's in the EFT options on the default advice tab. And depending on the security group of the logged on user, if they have select remittance advice layout in their security group, then they'll be able to change that report at runtime. If they don't have select remittance advice layout in their security group, then they will not be able to change the layout at this stage. So when you select a AP payment batch, an AR refund batch, or an AR receipt batch, the configured report will be emailed or printed if the delivery method on the vendor or customer is mail. And then to resend the remittance advice, you can rerun this option. 
and reselect the from batch and to batch, from entry and to entry number, but you also need to check this box if you want to send an email, even if the email has been sent previously. Similarly for payroll, in the EFT payroll advices, the report that's used defaults from the default advice tab in EFT options. And depending on the security group that this user is signed to, if they have select remittance advice layout in their security group, then they'll be able to change the report at runtime. They can also select a message ID and the payroll period end date. And if they want to do selective employees, they can select selective employees. And this emails or prints if the delivery method on the EFT employee is mail. And to resend remittance advices to employees, you can rerun and select the required from pay period and to pay period entry. And you also need to select check this box if you want to send an email, even if the email has already been sent for this entry. And if you have had multiple payroll runs, for the particular payroll end date. For example, on Monday, you do the payroll for your weekly pays and you email out the remittance advices. And on Tuesday, you do the payroll for the monthly pays and it has the same payroll end date. Then you need to print the remittance advice from the EFT payroll logs and select the individual EFT creation number that you need and click print. The default remittance advice templates that are provided by EFT Processing can be found in the F1 help. So if you in EFT options and click on F1 and expand the default advice and then scroll down, you will see a description of the four different default remittance advice for AP vendors and they have different entry dates or payment dates. There's also two different examples for the direct debits for e EFT customers and two examples for the AR refunds for your customers. And there's also a default payroll remittance advice that is provided. So you can take these reports, change the contents and use those for your, your attached PDF for the email remittance advices. And the email template that gets used when the email is sent to the vendor or customer or employee is selected on the EFT print advices for AP and AR. And you can include variables regarding the payments and the applied transactions in the email remittance advice. And we have a detailed quick tip video explaining what variables you can use in this email messages. And for the EFT print payroll advices, again, you select the message ID that you want to send and you can format and include information in the email based on the payroll information. But either way, when you're sending AP or AR or in payroll remittance advices, the EFT file must be created first because some of the details that are required in the remittance advices are stored in the log of the EFT files that are created by creation number. And you can password protect the remittance advice. So in AR, if you select use remittance advice password and define a formula for the password, and, and you also need to specify EFT SMTP details, then when the email remittance advice is sent, the attached PDF will have that password on. And the password can be defined either at an overall level or on an individual EFT customer by EFT customer level. And there is a video on our website explaining how to do the formulas for the passwords. Similarly, for accounts payable for your EFT payments, if you select use remittance advice password on the AP tab, define a formula and are sending via SMTP EFT SMTP, then the outgoing remittance advice will be password protected. And similarly, for your payroll, you need to select use remittance advice password, define the formula for the password, and be sending your EFT payroll remittance advices via EFT SMTP.
And finally, using AP as an example, I have already posted my AP payment batch, created the EFT file, and now I come to print the advices. I select the print destination. I select the vendor or customer. The fact I'm doing an AP payment batch, my remittance advice defaults from my EFT options, my payment email message defaults from the criteria that I've saved previously, and because I'm resending batch number one, I'm going to check this box to send an email even if I've sent an email previously, and it now sends the emails for all those vendors that are flagged to send an email. And in my email, if I go to open up the e one of the emails, because I had password encryption turned on, I need to type in the password. And here is the remittance advice. Thank you for watching this video on EFT processing and sending remittance advices. Please go to Orchid Systems for further details on EFT processing brochures, videos, and training videos on different aspects of EFT processing.